This painter was born in 1861. His father and elder brother were also painters. In 1873, he started following after-school classes at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in Antwerp under Édouard Dujardin. Already at this time, he was earning prizes for his paintings. However, in 1876, his father wanted him to become a clerk in the town's administrative office. The painter automatically went on hunger strike and showed his father his beautiful compositions, convincing him to further his artistic vocation. He fully enrolled in the Academy of Fine Arts in Antwerp from 1877 to 1881 under Polydore Beaufort, Niquès de Kayser, and Charles Verlet. His specialty, like his brother, was genre paintings. In his first period, he would execute paintings in the same line as his brother, however, paying more attention to detail and execution. His second period began in 1882, when he started painting seascapes. He supposedly went on vacation to Zeeland in the Netherlands, where he would find his new inspiration. Henri Bourse, equally a seascape and fisherman painter, supported him in this choice. In his third period, he focused on the theme of the Zeeland fisherfolk, their daily life, and with great focus on the life of women keeping busy with their domestic and leisure activities. During this period, he also worked on a more impressionistic brushstroke. Most of the time, the composition was similar in his work. In the middle, there would be a table at which one, two, and on rare occasions, more people were depicted. And at the center of the composition, a choice between various actions would occur. Reading a letter, writing a letter, a proposal, making lace, playing cards, or as in this painting, drinking tea. In the back of the painting, a window would always allow light to pour through, and the artist would play with shadows to enhance the composition. Also, all the accessories in his paintings could be found in his own living room and workshop. In 1894, he was invited to work on murals for the World Fair in Antwerp with Édouard de Gens and Joseph Derix. In general, his paintings were very well collected throughout Europe and the United States. This painter is Édouard Portille, a Belgian painter of the 19th century. In 1949, an Antwerp journalist would write about him saying, throughout the years, this respected painter had his place and success in every exhibition he did. His name is inextricably connected to the Zeeland interiors, which he painted exceptionally. With his virtuoso technique and great productivity, he created a genre of his own. 